All right, today I'm going to show you the way that I've been threshing grain. This is rye that I harvested about two weeks ago and we let dry. Here is part of the thresher. That's a 35 gallon poly barrel and I'm going to show you what I did. This is my thresher, grain thresher slash uh, honey extractor. Uh, there's a little bit of grain down there in the bottom I started. Basically what I did was I made a uh, like a bearing block um, and there's actually a bearing down in that hole and you'll see in a minute what happens. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this rye I'm just what I do is I just cut from like the middle of the stock and put it in there and then we're gonna thresh it. I'll show you that in a minute. Let me see if I can show you how I'm doing this. I got these cutters. I'm not being fancy or anything. I'm just going right about where I tied them. Cutting them. So I get like that, which has a fair amount of you know, straw on it, but the grain heads are at the top there. bundle here. If there's any big green heads, I'll grab them out. But if not, that ends up going to a straw for the pigs. So now I'm going to show you the rest of the thresher. The way I do it is I have this uh, power drill here that I have chucked onto this, I think it was a 5 8 all thread. And then I just have a couple of pieces of chain that I cut so that they don't scrape the side of the barrel. They come to right about here on the barrel. And uh, I just have two chains, which has worked nice so far. Uh, once you start spinning the drill, though, you know, they go straight out like that. So in order to reach down a little bit, I put a couple of, just threaded a couple of bolts on the end there so that as it's spinning around, you know, it's doing this and it reaches down a little bit on both sides to balance it out and it's just uh, all the way through a little hole in the lid of this 35 poly barrel so in order to assemble it I need two hands because I'm, what I'm going to do is this the tip of this shaft has to go down into the hole here at the, on the bottom block right there alright so now it's assembled Basically, I'm going to give it a little ride, spin it around, brace it. I suppose you could put a motor on here, which I'd love to do if I ever get around to it, but for now it's just fine. Start out slow. So we're going to take it out. Hard to do with one hand. Right, set this aside. You can see, tears everything up pretty nice. Most, if not all, of the grain comes off the head. For example, this one right here is pretty good. There's like one or two little grains left on there. But at any rate, look at the grain on the bottom. Separates the grain, there's most of the grain. And then, what I'll do is screen this to get out the large stuff, and then I will winnow it. Usually just from bucket to bucket in front of a fan or on a nice breezy day. Uh, Pretty good, small scale green threshing. Thank you for watching.